G'day mate, my name is Daily, and today we're going to be playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, today, I, like it, last episode, I said I was going to look into the ghillie suits, so I have. <laughs> we're going to go in and get this intel. I think I have landed in the right sort of spot here. This kind of ghillie suit looks funny, but, yeah, <laughs> what can we do? There's a llama kind of thing that you can get as well that I'm going to try out a little bit later on, but... For now, this is going to do for us. I don't know how we're going to get into here. I thought there would be an easy way in in the back over here, but... Looks like we might be guessing wrong. But hey, at least we can... Uh, scout the place a little bit. Crap. Oh, God. I don't know if this ghillie suit helps it out at all, but we will see. Sniper up in the tower. That was a really good shot, actually. Felt very accurate. Maybe that perk is finally doing something. The stabilize one. It's a guy right there. Where else are we looking? Come on, people, pop out so I can shoot ya. There's a guy right there. Not gonna mark, so I'm just gonna shoot him. <laughs> yeah, well, that's my um, situation. That's my thinking for ya. Okay, we're still alright. Can't see him, so I'll just shoot him instead. I don't know. It's, that's basically how it sounds, and it sounds stupid now I say it aloud. Got another tango. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah, I thought he would hear him. Found dead body, but you're dead too. Does it not matter? Well, there'd be a few more people around, but okay, there's not. Oh, there's supplies. Cool. We'll get that in a minute. It's a route plan for a convoy that moves along the death row. A security team rides along with it. There's a name here. Salazar. Bowman. Picking up chatter about a cartel by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madricoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madricoca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start. Said he reminded her of her own son, who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So... She had the old man stuffed in the sack of tires and set him on fire. Jorge has been her adopted son and right-hand man ever since. Oh my That's god. Seriously f***ed up. Salazar's yeah. probably the one person in the world Madricoca really trusts. We grab him. It'll turn her world upside down. We'll see what we can do. Holy crap. That's pretty screwed up. I was more laughing at the fact that it looks like I'm a Wookiee dropping a Jeep. I'm opening fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Oh, God, this is unit tab patrol now. God damn. Oh, where do we have to go? Oh, it's all the way up here again. Madri Coca's right hand man is a local by the name of Salazar. She depends on him for everything. Let's see how she reacts when we take him into custody. The LT is escaping. Yeah, let's do, do that. I'm going to get rid of these guys and I'll make my way over to that place. Nothing really exciting is going to go on here. But if it does, I oh, will cheat you in. Oh god. Note to yourself, do not drive through fields like this because there's people working here. Holy oh, shit, look at that drop. I've heard stories about the death road, but it's a whole other thing to see it up close. Yeah, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Waiting to happen. More like happens all the damn time. I wouldn't ride that road with a gun to my head. Okay. I don't know what road they're talking about, but Okay. Oh, damn it. I just realized we have to capture somebody that's in a car. And I've already screwed this car up pretty well. Coming up the rally point. Heads up. This is our stop. Is so not stopping here? Is he in the front car? Seems like he is. If only I could shoot. I don't know what the play is here. I think I'm just going to go up to the very front and then um, order the assault. Go. Got eyes on Salazar. Target marked. Hold up. Shoot these guys. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm nearly there too. Oh, God. To that was too close. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Shit balls. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Oh yeah, I probably should take cover, but I'm returning fire. 
Oh, too close. Possibly gonna die anyway. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, no. Cease fire, cease fire. Oh, don't kill them, you're not supposed to. They're surrendering. How do I stop them from firing? You're mine now. Oh god, this guy better not die. Oh wait, I need to uh, extract him, so... Yeah, he better not die. Stoke, get in the car. Thanks, fella. Alright, oh, boys, teleport in the... Oh, I'm, I'm in the passenger side. Change the seat, idiot. Boys, you can teleport. You have mystical powers. See, tells you. Oh god, don't go off the side of the cliff. God. Just ask him to die. Is that it? Is that all I have to do? I think so. Hey fella. I got someone you wanna meet. Don't understand ya. Sorry, Mark. Extract. Okay. Oh, look at that tat. I don't actually need you to talk. Without you, there's no one to run things in Tabacal. Madricoca will have to come out of hiding and then we'll have her. Entonces, you think I'm the only one she trusts? Carajo, mujer. She has people loyal to her working with the farmers. Now that's an interesting piece of information. See? You're cooperating already. <laughs> Wait. Whoops. I didn't. Sure you did. And Madre Coca would skin you alive if she ever found out. Give us a name, Salazar. And we promise this stays between you and us. Oh, my ghillie suit's uh -huh. gone. He still looks cool. Dale, pues. Okay. I didn't realize I had my handgun out, but okay. My guy looks cool as crap without all the other gear on. And he looks cool with it, too. He looks like a Chewbacca, but green. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he just tilted his gun up there. It looked like he was kind of going with the moment, too. Yeah. Right, is there any dialogue here? Bowman just uploaded there it is. For us. Looks like Salazar finally talked. It's a list of Santa Blanca snitches working inside the farmer's co-op. You know what to do. You take him out. Oh, is it just missions now? Yes! We have well, two more to go. So we've got inside job and another that's locked. Salazar's given up the names of several cocoleros who've been secretly spying for Madre Coca. If Jesus. Chavez and the others are going to stand a chance against the cartel, we need to take these out. Language, Bowman. Jesus. Right, yeah, I think we're going to have to trust travel over that way. There we go. There's a little bloody rally point just there. So let's go there. Bowman, we got her. Holy shit, we got her. Say again? I just heard from my rebel contact in Tabaka. Madra Coco's reached out to them. She thinks they're the ones who got Salazar, and she wants him back. She wants to set up a meet to negotiate. You believe her? I believe she wants Salazar. The rest doesn't matter. We've got Madra Coco right where we want her. You can accompany the rebels to the meet. Talk to her. Convince her that if she wants Salazar back, she's got to play along. I'm sending coordinates for the RV now. The rebels will take you to the meet. I'm counting on you to keep things from getting out of hand, Nomad. We need Madra Coco alive. Hmm, that's interesting. Seems urgent. Yeah, let's do that instead, I reckon. Oh wait, it's up there. It's a crown icon, so it looks like that's the end mission. Now we'll do this one first, just in case. This is a cool looking van, I don't think it handles all that well. I notice when you have cars in the rain, they bloody slip and slide everywhere. It's awesome. Just the, the level of detail they went into this game is absolutely astounding. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time now. There's the farm where cartel snitches are hiding. As soon as we hit one of them, the rest will scatter. We need to take them down fast before they get away. Oh, okay. Nearly flipped the van when I did that, but... Snitches get stitches. Well, why isn't that the name of... The mission because that's literally what we're doing i don't really know how i'm going to do this i'm just going to pull over here 
obviously. <laughs> and start having a look out. Hey, you rebel boys, here you go. And. Okay, oh god. Alright. Ooh, this might be cool. Yes, do this. We've got a tango with multiple civilians around. Spotting another tango. So it looks like if I spot a. Yeah, this is one. There's another one there. How many is there? Three. Might be some down here, maybe. They're obviously up there. Oh, it's a toucan. Another one. Oh, there's another one there. Okay. So, can I get somebody to take you out? Oh, no. It's going to be a thing where I'm going to just have to take him out. Like, one at a time. Yes, it's going to be difficult. But if I take one out stealthily, will the others know? Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy. Oh, here he is. Really tempted just to shoot him. But I have a feeling these other guys are just going to scatter like roaches when they turn a light on. Yeah, he goes. Oh, come on. Oh god, he's so strong. first target is down. Moving to the next. Do they know? I got one narco. They don't, but they're being protected by other people, so oh god, I'm gonna take him before he finds a body. Nice. Find the last cartel rat and take him out. It's good. I wonder if I can Ooh, that was a good duck. Oh no, 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 no. Crap. Oh, get out of the way. Oh no, I'm in desperate need. Take cover already. Come on, get in this car. Not passenger. Jesus. Drive quick. Teleport, peoples. God, he, he's out of here. Let's hope I'm in a faster car. I think I, I am. I think he's in a truck. Did someone just fly out of my car? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I ran over anybody. Ready? Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, come on, people. My driving is not that bad. You can take him out. Why don't any of you have snipers on? Ram me off the road. Fucking hell. Wow, language. God, people. I feel like Captain America right now. Yeah, that done. Hell yeah. That's the last of them. Let's clear out and let the Cocoleros take care of the rest. Yeah, well, yeah. Is that, um, what submissions? Yeah, the, the last one is literally that one there. Sweet. Is there any dialogue now that, that's been taken care of? So you would have thought that there would have been some dialogue by now, but I've driven around for a little while and there's been nothing. So... Yeah, the only mission left is the big main story mission to, to go now, so I'm going to leave this one here. Get out of the way. Making me stop what I'm talking about, people. Wow. So yeah, we're not going to take on the main mission just yet. I want to leave that as an episode on its own. So that's basically it for this one. So hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, you know the jazz, everything is down in the description. But that is all I have got time for today, guys. And you can catch me here daily. Have a good one, mate. Oh, what's this? Is that a wolf? First wolf. Holy crap, you rescued a tame wolf, it'll show up at a setting kennel you built. No freaking way.